Hey, welcome back everybody. So, Merry Christmas again. Merry Christmas, the best Christmas season of all, which is fall and leaf bag season. That is my Christmas time. There's a couple really good comments. Uh, my last video that I wanted to actually create this video almost specifically so that I can get that on uh, tape for other people to, to know because I know a lot of people don't necessarily always read the comments Where I'm going today. I've been there before and I've talked to quite a few of the residents there You know when you go and stop and pick up someone's leaves if they're outside They tend to kind of ask you what you're gonna use them for so these are all places that I know I've talked to them before and they don't use herbicides or pesticides on their lawn This is actually important because if they if the leaves fall down on the ground and then they you know uh, mow them up and shred them or rake them into piles you might get a little bit of carryover of herbicide and then if you put that into your gardens you know putting herbicide in the area that you want to grow food is not a great uh, plan for growing large healthy plants so let's check some of this out I also know that the uh, plants that are the, the trees that are dropping the leaves here are pretty much black locust maple and oak uh, which is great there is a walnut tree where I helped a lady uh, rake her leaves up if you don't have access to people who put bags of leaves out but you do have access to trees you can do that and I've done that in the past I pop over and uh, one day I saw her out raking leaves and I asked her if I rake your leaves for you can I keep them and she said of course and then she just made me a sandwich so uh, it's kind of nice to build those kind of community relationships and you know that way you can actually get access to some leaves which are just incredible so let's check this out okay so here is an older street and this is one of the spots right here so I'm actually going to go and grab those and I see up there we've got another butte and we've got some here too so this is like prime time season this is exactly what I look for okay so something like this is stuff that I'll avoid I just don't like dealing with all the tape and then also if you see a lot of brush cuttings it's possible that it's all leaves there but it's also possible that they went and cleaned up all their gardens as well and you're going to get a lot of um, you know plants and other uh, yard waste that is well all decompose but it's not really what you want we're out here getting leaves and we want to get leaves so this now i've talked to this person before and they actually shred their leaves so that's why I really want to come back and this is just like this is what I want this is exactly what I want so we're gonna grab all of these The neighbor across the street flagged me down and said come grab my leaf bags nice old lady i was talking to her for a bit there um, but uh, she didn't want to be on camera which is understandable uh, but uh, wh what i did want to show actually why i was, took the camera out in the first place is i want to show you their lawn uh, this person over here you know this is not a true green a true green chem lawn we've got a whole bunch of you know different plants we've got some plantain some clover um, we've got dandelions all growing in here, so I know this person doesn't spray with herbicides. So this is kind of what you're looking for. And you're looking for giant trees. Make sure you can learn to identify them when you've got some leaves falling. And uh, we do have a walnut, but we also have um, a maple and a giant oak. So I don't mind getting some walnut. The juglone's not terrible. Uh, but you don't really want to get a house that's got a whole bunch of walnuts So yeah, you're just looking for a different type of leaf and you're looking for some clues in the lawn that they don't true green chem lawn uh, as a maintenance strategy for their yard
So there's a bunch of things that you can do with your leaves. The leaf bags themselves are great for doing the actual smothering layer of a sheet mulch. So if you're going to sheet mulch for a new garden, especially a new tree-based garden that wants fungally dominated soils, then you can actually use the leaf bags to actually instantly create a new food forest strip. This chicken area here, I want to kind of expand it over the years and turn it into almost like a chicken fun park. So we're going to do that kind of now a little bit. We're going to sheet mulch in here. We're going to throw a big pile of leaves. The leaves themselves will actually function also as a habitat for overwintering insects. This is pretty valuable. And then I can let the chickens out and they can kind of have fun and get the odd snack. But, you know, some will survive, obviously. And uh, that way it's kind of a mutual beneficial ecosystem building, soil building, and fun for the chickens. So let's dump some of these chicken bags out in there and we'll let the chickens out and we'll watch them play in the leaves. I think that's gonna be pretty fun. dryer sheets, that's fun. Hey. It's pretty entertaining. They're, they're pretty dumb. They're like they're pretty funny how stupid they are. But they're really not going for the leaves at all. Oh, is that what you're trying to get on video? Yeah. Did you just go to throw them in the leaves and then they're just <laughs> playing with them? <laughs> what are you guys doing tonight? No idea. I don't know. That's exciting. Very exciting. Now, I'll be honest, I don't always have a plan when I'm figuring out stuff to do. I just thought, you know, I've got this fence and I've got all these leaves. 
just sitting out in the neighborhood. I might as well try to do something with them. I was going to kind of create a circular area out in the other food forest, keep the leaves there and run a huge, like huge thousand plus bag leaf pile. But then I thought, you know what, I've got the chickens here. I've got the fence all set up for the chickens. Why don't I just do it here and then maybe the chickens can play with it. So uh, I don't know, maybe not the best plan, but I think, uh, I think it's just it'll be something fun to do something fun to watch it might be like a two-year thing um the leaves kind of look like a barrier to entry right now like you can't kind of can't get in there and walk around but you'd be surprised after like one year those leaves will be down to like i don't know half the size maybe even less and then after two or three years it'll be like they never were there you'll just have a nice maybe three to four inch topsoil uh, in the chicken pen and then I can plant trees and bushes into that and they'll do really well they'll kind of uh, do re like they'll do really well they'll get up above any kind of chicken pressure I can kind of fence them off and block them using uh, stones around the trunks of the tree so that the chickens don't scratch up the and expose the roots and maybe buy them so that they're just you know a little bit above the browse height of the chickens they used to kind of stand up on these uh, logs here they'd stand on those logs and try to eat the grapes off of the off of the grapevines and so I know pretty much exactly how high they can reach and yeah I don't know maybe I'll we'll just try this for fun and see what happens I still have a bunch of leaf bags to add but I don't know this is the stuff that drives my wife nuts drives Trish crazy but I don't know sometimes it's fun to not have a plan and to just do things and see how it works out just for fun for science All right, so there's the final pile of leaves. We've got a bunch of bags over here, but it's getting dark, so I want to get the chickens in. So we've got another bunch of bags here. Do those in the morning. Want to make sure the chickens can actually get inside and get going to bed. <laughs> 